Counterterrorism forces are confident that the complete liberation of the Iraqi city of Mosul is close. U.S.-backed Iraqi forces surrounded the iconic al-Nuri Mosque on Thursday after it had been blown up by extremists last week. Around 200 ISIS fighters remain in two separate locations, one in Mosul and the other at a hospital complex in the north. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, we know that the al-Nuri Mosque was a symbol of ISIS's so-called caliphate since this is where the group's leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, declared the caliphate nearly three years ago. What can you tell us about the significance of the mosque? Mosque, and what does it mean now that the Iraqi forces have captured it? Well, as you said, this was the, the place where uh, Baghdadi declared the caliphate in uh, Iraq. It also happens to be the last time the world saw him alive when he made that uh, uh, now famous sermon at the uh, mosque in uh, 2014. And there's not a lot left of the mosque now because as uh, Iraqi forces were closing in on it, uh, ISIS blew it up. Uh, so it, uh, it really does uh, hold mainly symbolic value, but it gives uh, Iraq's prime minister justification for saying that the uh, ISIS caliphate in Iraq is dead, even though there are other pockets of resistance inside Mosul and other larger pockets uh, of uh, ISIS fighters outside Mosul in other uh, cities around the country. We know that Iraqi forces launched this operation a week ago to try and get rid of these last ISIS strongholds in Mosul. Was this a success, capturing the mosque, or was this more symbolic than practical? Well, it was a position that had to be taken. It had its symbolic value, but uh, as long as there were ISIS fighters there, they had to they had to eliminate the fighters. And now that they have done that, there are only, uh, according to uh, U.S. officials, only two pockets of uh, ISIS fighters left in Mosul, uh, totaling about 200 uh, fighters, and they're totally cut off. So uh, their their days are are numbered. Um, so it is uh, both a uh, symbolic victory for the Iraqi security forces, but it was also a tactical necessity. They had to take it in order to clear out the last of these ISIS fighters. You mentioned about 200 <clears throat> ISIS fighters that remain in and near Mosul. How close, David, are Iraqi forces to completely liberating the city? Well, uh, the U.S. Uh, military spokesman in Baghdad today said said it was just days away, and the U.S. is always reluctant to put a, uh, a timetable on these battles uh, for fear that when they go longer, uh, they'll be accused of having uh, bogged down or be losing the fight. So the fact that uh, a U.S. official is now uh, publicly willing to, to say on the record that it's just days away, I think uh, tells you the level of uh, confidence that uh, officials uh, both on the U.S. and the Iraqi side have that the liberation of uh, Mosul is very, very close. But uh, we have to say that although uh, the battle for Mosul was long seen as the decisive battle because, one, it was uh, the capital of the ISIS caliphate in Iraq, and two, it's Iraq's second largest city, it's not going to be the final battle against ISIS in Iraq. There are at least three other uh, towns in Iraq where uh, ISIS is dug in and is going to have to be dug out. David Martin at the Pentagon. David, thank you. Sure thing.